everyone, welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Today's grocery haul is actually a collab with my friend Courtney over on The Bryles Bunch. If you haven't heard of her channel before, she pretty much shares everything that I share over here except with her own little twist. So she has a lot of grocery hauls, meal plans, what's for dinner type videos, and just a lot of foodie stuff just like I do over here. So if you love my channel, definitely head on over and check out her channel once you are done watching my grocery haul and meal plan today. I will leave all of the links links to her channel and her video all in the description box down below so go ahead and check it out once we are done here and if you are new here I'm sure she's introduced me already but I thought I would just do it again really quickly while I'm here my name is Katrina and on this channel I share lots of grocery hauls meal plans pretty much every single week as well as what's for dinner videos meal prep just a whole bunch of stuff that happens in my kitchen I like to share it all here on my main channel and if you also like cleaning motivation I have recently started up a second channel full of all of my cleaning videos over on Katrina Marie so I will leave the links to that channel as well in the description box down below if you wanted to head on over and say hi over there as well I would love to have you but if you are already familiar with my cleaning channel I have been saying over there for a while now that I really want to get like a little bit of pantry organization going on in one of the areas in my kitchen so I wanted to go ahead and do that today as well as like clean up the other pantry and restock it a little bit so I thought I would share that in today's video as well but if you are ready to get some new dinner ideas actually there's not too many dinner ideas in today's meal plan we're kind of going ahead and trying to use up everything that we've got in the freezer and fridge for this week so it's not too exciting but I'll still show you anyway so if you're ready to get some new dinner ideas go ahead and give this video Video, a huge thumbs up and let's get into it. So for the first few nights of this week's meal plan, I just really want to use up all of the like pre-chopped vegetables that I have in the freezer. They've been there for a while now, so I just want to get all of them used up. So we're just having three nights of sheet pan vegetables and pretty much just pairing that with stuff that's in the freezer as well. So like meat pies, party pies to be more specific, chicken, we've got like some crumb chicken in there and also some crumb fish. So I'm just sort of mixing those up a little bit over the nights and making sure that we use up all of those vegetables. Then on Thursday night, we're just gonna be having sweet potato soup with garlic bread. I actually just found this recipe, so I'm really excited to give that one a try. And also we have a ton of sweet potato diced up in the freezer that I wanted to use up. So that's the meal inspiration for that one on Thursday night. Then on a Friday night, we're having ravioli bolognese. That's a staple here. If you're new, we have that every single week on the meal plan. On a Saturday night, we're having lasagna and salad. Then on a Sunday night, just nice and easy. We had this last week and it was so quick to throw together and the kids loved it. So we're just having toasted sandwiches with smoothies again to make sure that we use up all of the leftover fruit so that none of it goes to waste. But that is everything that's in the meal plan this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what is in our grocery haul now. So the first thing that we grabbed, actually a lot of the cleaning products were half price this week. Sorry, that's just my water. I'm drinking that, I didn't buy that tonight. But um, a lot of the cleaning products were actually half price this week. So I grabbed a packet of these Sabco wipes last week and they were, I paid full price, which is annoying, but they were half price this week. So I just thought I'd grab another packet while they were cheap, just so I'm fully stocked. We don't have a dishwasher here if you are new, so we use these to wash the dishes. It's just easy, and I find that they don't like wreck the plastic wear as much as a more scourer one does. Then I've also grabbed another packet of gloves. I grabbed gloves because someone told me on my cleaning channel that I really should start wearing them when I do the dishes, and I've never really done that before. Anyways, I grabbed some gloves, and at the same time, I saw that like TikTok cleaning hack where they like pull out the kitchen drains and clean them properly and I used the gloves to do that and the drains were so filthy that I just couldn't bring myself to keep the gloves so I threw them out and I brought myself some new ones they were half price this week too which were like $1.70 I think so I just thought I'd grab some more throw them under the sink and maybe I will use them for dishes this time I also grabbed myself a new potato masher so ours snapped this week and I thought I'd be like super efficient and make a double batch of mashed potatoes and put half in the fridge for the next night and half for that night except our masher could not handle how much mashed potato was in that pot so it broke so i've just gone ahead and brought a new one of those i think that was about six dollars at woolworth so not a bad price i also grabbed more of these magic erasers they were half price again so they were down to two dollars so you guys know that i love these i have a huge stock now so i'm not complaining about that and this is just another thing that i won't have to ever really pay full price for as long as i keep getting them 
while they are marked down. I will always have plenty in the cupboard. Another thing, and I had to laugh at this one because a subscriber actually commented on last week's video letting me know that these spicy peppers um, dolmio sauces were half price. Because if you're new here, I grab these all the time. This is a staple in our house and I just love a good sale. So these were half price. They were down to $1.75 a jar, which is super cheap. They're normally like, I think $3.50 or something. And it adds up when we have one of these every single week with our ravioli bolognese. This is the base sauce that we use. So I did stock up today and I grabbed two, four, six, eight, ten. I grabbed 10 of the spicy peppers that we have. And I also grabbed two jars of the carbonara. Now I have said recently that I want to start making my own creamy sauces. And a couple people now have shared their creamy sauce based recipes, which I am super grateful for. And you know, I love doing that when I actually have the time, but when I don't have the time, it's really handy to have these in the cupboard ready to just throw on top of a bag of tortellini or something, or even just like a pasta bake. It just makes life so much easier and it's so much quicker than making your own sauce. I grabbed a huge bag of potatoes this week. So they were $5 for the four kilogram bag. And it's usually around $5, $5.50 for the two kilo bag. So I always like to grab the bigger bag when I can, when it's cheaper. I grabbed grabbed two packets of the paper towel this week. They were half priced down to like a dollar 75 I think it was for a packet so I grabbed those we have so much paper towel in this house like it's crazy but it's just another thing that I like to grab when it's half price so that we are always stocked and never paying full price for it I also grabbed two of the two liter a2 light milks that we always grab and the crumpets were half price this week so they were $1.85 and I just grabbed a packet of those I also grabbed two more tins of evaporated milk I've been substituting these for cream in recipes recipes for maybe over six months now. Someone on my channel, one of my viewers, actually recommended it to me a long time ago now. Honestly, it's just made such a difference and it's just, it's so much healthier, of course. It's 75% less fat if you get the normal evaporated milk and it's 95% less fat than cream if you get the light evaporated milk. I mean, the flavor change is there. It's definitely not as creamy, but it still gives that creamy taste to it and it's good enough in my opinion for the health benefits. So I grabbed two more of those just to make sure that we are stocked in the cupboard. I grabbed about 100 grams of deli ham. My toddler sort of, he picks a snack every day on the side of his lunch and this week he's decided that he wants ham on the side. So he'll have his sandwich, his fruit and a little bit of ham on the side, which is funny. He will not have ham in his sandwich, but he's happy to have it on the side as a snack. So go figure. I also grabbed three of my favorite Caesar salad kits this week. So I grabbed four last week, I think, and I still have one left in the fridge. So I thought I'd just grab three. That seems to be about the amount that I get through without wasting any. So they're about $6 each. So I've never seen these go on special and I'm not lucky enough to ever get them if they're marked down, if they're like close to their use by date or anything. So I'm always paying full price for these, but I don't mind. They're so convenient. For fruit this week, I grabbed two huge bunches of bananas. I'm just going to chuck one bunch in the fruit bowl and then the other bunch I'm going to put in the freezer once it browns up a little bit just for smoothies. And then I also grabbed three punnets of strawberries this week. I think they were about $1.90. So they seem to be creeping up again. They were $1.50 last week and then a dollar like a day later. And then now they are $1.90. So I don't know what's going on there, but I grabbed three punnets of those. I also grabbed some yogurt pouches for my kids. So I got three of the banana yogurts and three of the strawberry. And for myself for breakfast lately, I've been having like you know, half a punnet of strawberries. And I've also been adding some yogurt onto it. So I grabbed some small yogurt tubs last week, but I thought this week I would grab just a big yogurt tub for myself. So it's just the um, zero, I think it's zero sugar, no added sugar, no fat, 80 calories, real fruit strawberry. It's got five stars. It looks good. looks healthy. So I thought I'd grab that to throw on top of my strawberries for breakfast or like a snack if I don't have it for breakfast. We grabbed our usual of the one kilogram pink lady red apples. And I also grabbed two of the one liter vegetable stock. So the sweet potato soup recipe that I found, it calls for a liter of vegetable stock, but I'm doubling the recipe so that I can freeze it. It says that it's suitable to be frozen. So I'm going to meal prep a bunch of that sweet potato soup and just have it in the freezer ready for quick and easy lunches for myself if I don't feel like salad. I also grabbed a two kilo of the beef lasagna for Saturday night's dinner. 
I also grabbed a large 10 pack of croissants this week. My four year old loves croissants. He requests them every single week. So I do like to grab them when they are on special. They're normally like a few dollars off. But this week, my rewards app actually had like bonus points if I got the croissants. So I definitely threw them in the cart this week for those points as well. And as well as that, I just grabbed two loaves of our usual low GI white bread that we love. We also were running out of butter this week. So I went ahead and grabbed another one of our proactive buttery flavored um, butter things, margarine, whatever it is. And for snacks this week, I do like to keep things balanced over here. So as much as I like to eat healthy, I also like to make sure that I can treat myself around the three o'clock mark. Otherwise, my mental health does not survive the day. So I've grabbed my four-year-old some little Kinder chocolates. These were down to a dollar. So I thought I'd surprise him with these. It comes with four little sticks in there. So I thought I'd give him like one every day with his lunch or, you know, as an afternoon snack. So he'll be excited about that. And I also grabbed myself some of this Frey brand Supreme Dark Caramel Sea Salt Chocolate. I've never tried this brand before. It's apparently number one in Switzerland and it was half price. So it was only $2 for this block. So I thought I'd give it a try. And also as a treat for myself this week, and I'll probably maybe share with my partner, but probably not. I grabbed these Kit Kats. So they were half price as well. So they were down to like $2.25 I think for the packet. Oh and hiding behind the yogurt here I nearly forgot I grabbed some garlic paste. I love this Gallico garlic paste just because the ingredients are so simple. So it's 87% garlic and vinegar and ex oh, see it has exanthem gum in it. On the app because I do my shopping online on the Woolworths online app, if you're new here, it said that it was just garlic and vinegar. So I'm pretty upset that they didn't mention the third ingredient. But anyways, it's still only three ingredients, which is a lot less than um, some of the bigger brands. So another thing that I grabbed this week, which is new to us, I'm pretty sure it's new to the stores as well. I've never seen them before, but it's these new Crave bars. So they look good. It also says less than 110 calories per serve for all of the flavors. I grabbed two flavors this week. So the ones that I grabbed is caramel pop and chock and nudge to fudge. So this one has caramel fudge pieces in it and this one has chock fudge pieces. They sound amazing. There was also a third box, which was like donut flavored. I think it had like little churros in it, like churro cinnamon donut pieces or something in it, but they were sold out of that one. So I got refunded for that, but I did manage to grab these two bars to try. So that is everything that is in the grocery haul this week. Moving on to this complete disaster of a breakfast station. So I have been wanting to organize this space for so long now. So I went ahead and mapped it out and I brought some new budget-friendly containers for this area from Kmart. So I went ahead and got two of these two-liter round food containers. They were a dollar seventy-five each, so super cheap. And I also got a three-pack of the smaller round containers. They were also a dollar seventy-five each. I got two of these 2.8 liter food storage containers, which turned out to be perfect height for my coffee sachet. So I'm super happy about that. And they were $7 each. And then I also grabbed one of these turntable things for the spreads, which was $5. So all of these are super budget friendly. I'm going to go ahead and give these a wash though, before we start on the pantry organization. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it For 
Now for the fun part. I always love watching pantry restock and organization videos here on YouTube. It inspires me so much to slowly transform and organize my own home, but I did declutter a lot of what was on that shelf that didn't belong there or that was just out of date. So I'm gonna go ahead and organize what's left and what we use every day into these containers. I seriously think it's going to make a world of difference up there. So here is a before and after shot of the pantry organization. For $22, I am so happy with how this turned out. The transformation is amazing, but I do still have a whole bunch of these little like chocolate powder toppings for the top of the coffee sachets on the cappuccinos and things like that. So I'm going to have to figure out somewhere to put these. But other than that, I'm so happy with how this turned out. I also wanted to organize a couple shelves here in my pantry. So this is like the snack station and it's just full of all of the kids snacks. A lot of these snacks go half price a lot. So I stock up on a lot of things that are cheaper and it gets out of hand sometimes when I'm throwing the groceries in there every week and I just really wanted to go ahead and organize this so I thought I'd go ahead and film this pantry area too and take you along with me for some more pantry organization. <laughs> Never cut it by 
I manage to clear out a bunch of boxes and packets from the pantry, it always amazes me how much room you can free up in your pantry simply by taking things out of their original packaging. But here's a quick before and after shot for you all. Be sure to check out my cleaning channel when you get a chance for more cleaning and organization. It is always linked in my description box down below. Okay, friends, so that is everything that is in this week's grocery haul and meal plan. Before you go, don't forget to check out the link in the description box down below to go over and say hi to Courtney over on the Bryles Bunch. She would love to have you over there. Let her know that I sent you. But until next week, I hope you all have a really great week and I'll be back here again really soon with a brand new video. Bye.